You know, oftentimes I've seen this, people ask a big question about God or the meaning of life, the meaning of the universe, why we're here. And, you know, I think the kind of Christianese kind of knee-jerk reaction is to give a Bible verse. And so you give a person a Bible verse on like, this is what it says on what the word of God says on this. And, you know, living in California, people can be very skeptical. And so when you cite the Bible, people say this. They say, well, yeah, well, that's just the the Bible, you know, there's a lot of different holy books out there that are just as equally valid, as sound as a Bible. Look at Islam. They got their holy book. They got the Quran. You got the Bhagavad Gita, the Hindu scriptures. These are just as equally valid and influential holy books. So, you know, and people believe it, Nate, just as strongly as you do. They believe these books and they follow them just like you follow the Bible. So they're all kind of on the same level, you know, so which one do you go with? And all, you'd also hear this. This is a very common thing people would say. So yeah, I mean, how do you know the Bible is the only book that speaks for God? How do you know it even speaks for God at all? I mean, you know, it's written by men, they'll say. There's other holy books that are just as plausible, just valid and inspired as people hold to the Bible as we as Christians do. What you'll see is that when this kind of skeptical line is dropped, you're going to see it's just not true. It is just not true that all of the religious books are on the same level as the Bible in terms of influence and in terms of how it's designed, put together, its popularity, how it's referenced, how fulfilled prophecy is in there. All of these things. I mean, the Bible, the way it was written, the time it was written, the period, the authors is just downright miraculous. No other book is like this book. But the Bible is the most popular and most influential book book in all of human history. According to the Guinness World uh, World Records, it says, research con conducted by the British and Foreign Bible Society in 2021 suggests that the total number probably lies between Bibles five to seven billion. Five to seven billion. Bibles sold. That's what's the second most purchased and read book in all of human history. This one caught me for a little bit of a surprise. I was like, oh, I didn't expect that. I was expecting something else. But, you know, uh, it is quotations from Chairman Mao, also called the Little Red Book, a communist dictator. 900 million copies sold. The third is the Quran. I mean, these are not even close to five, seven billion. Like, let's just be honest with these numbers here. Not even close. Okay. 800 million of the Quran. I mean, that's a rough estimate. They're not sure the exact numbers, but that's at least what we have for the Quran is 800 million purchased. I have to say, it is a tough thing when a ruthless communist dictator has more copies sold than your holy book. That is a, I don't know, that's a hard thing to swallow. I think if you're holding to that book or something. Now, what's even harder, I think, in fourth place, and this was really, I didn't know it was this popular. Fifth is even more surprising to me, but is Harry Potter. Literally, Harry, it's 600 million. Yeah, Harry Potter. Um, getting pretty close to the Quran there. Huh? <laughs> Children's book, just point it out. Then fifth place, and this like harkens back to my childhood. I think these are the only books I ever read, that and Alien vs. Predator growing up as a kid. But the fifth place is Goosebumps, and that is by R.L. Stein with 400 million. Yeah. And then the Hindu scriptures, way on the bottom here, the Bhagavad Gita, 140 million. So if you're holding to that, you got Goosebumps. Harry Potter, and a communist dictator kind of topping you on the cells there. Really rough thing. And so, I mean, any other holy book you can think of, any other religion or writing holy writ that people say, oh, this is, this is from God, this is true, whatever it is. Any other book, yeah, besides the Bible and the Quran, mostly, I mean, actually the Bible, you're going to have beaten by somebody. Someone's going to, some, some fictional author is going to be beating your book if you hold any other holy book besides the Bible. So, yeah, I mean, and that is tough, right? Like, you're like, wow, I, I guess the, the words of a ruthless communi communist dictator has written more than my holy book. I think that speaks volumes for the, the nature of the Bible having such an impact on the human soul that it does. Not only that, the Bible is the most reliably transmitted ancient book ever written, full stop, in a sentence. That's it. According to Bart Ehrman, who is an openly hostile critic, skeptic of Christianity, he says, and I quote, the Bible is the best attested book in all of ancient history. Best attested in terms of it being passed down. Like, oh, scribes and this. Well, you know, hostile critic says it was the best passed down ancient book. So you're going to doubt that. You're going to just doubt everything. You know, just go into that. And so it is the most love. We have the most manuscripts of any ancient document in terms of being passed down as multiple lines of transmission. And this is exactly what you would expect to see if the Bible is the word of God, and it is. Now, the most amazing thing about the Bible is it wasn't written by one religious leader who had some private experience in a cave that no one can check out or verify or prove. No, the Bible has many different authors, 40 of them around, in a span of time 
over 1,500 years of it being written, okay? And it's consistent throughout that time. And this proves, I, I think this shows that there's one author behind it, and that's God. He has orchestrated by his divine sovereign providence these human authors, 40 of them over 1,500 years. And um, I actually have Brent to, to show you how many cross-references it has. It has 63,000 cross-references. 63,000. Actually, the exact number is 63,779 cross-references, and that just shows you all the different, it looks like a rainbow, um, shows you all the different uh, cross-references it has there. No other book is like this book with 40 different auth authors over 1,500 years, and you have all of this unity, overlap, and cross-references. The divine mind was behind this. God is behind this book. Thank you.